this dog's been around horses too long. <laughs> Welcome back to another Wizzy Welsh eventing vlog. Um, today I'm planning to just do some grid work with stairs in the bottom arena and uh, you're going to come along with us. I've got Jangy with me. Jang, say hello. Who's that? Oh, hello buddy. Um, so yeah, he's going to come along with me. He does whimper in the corner of the arena, but it'll be fine. Um, I just want to get some confidence back after like a, a bit of a rough time at the aisle i don't know what's wrong with her she just wasn't herself um and it has knocked me a little bit because she was putting in some dirty stops and uh i nearly came off a few times <laughs> uh so yeah i'm just gonna um put her down a grid and i'll show you how to set up and stuff um i'm not very technical with the striding i just kind of walk it and uh hope for the best really <laughs> uh so yeah so i find doing a grid really helps says because it helps her know where she's putting her feet and gives her more confidence and i also feel like you're not just focusing on one fence but you've got like a line to work down and it just seems to flow so much better and it gives the horse confidence and it gives the rider confidence so i'm going to do that ahead of my uh our first fun rider 2022 tomorrow which i always excited for uh so yeah you're gonna come along with us see you the yard so i've just got to the yard and it is really windy it's quite mild whereas like the last week or so has been absolutely lush and of course i've been at work when the weather's been amazing so my day off and uh it's windy overcast and just a bit yeah. so it could be a bit difficult setting up the jumps if it's that windy I'm having to walk down to the bottom of the field because she is being a stubborn little toad. Not today, she says, Mum, not today. <laughs> no, she needs ridden. We're going on this fun ride tomorrow and I've heard that she has been, she's been a little bit naughty in the field and has been galloping around full of energy. So I'm um, hoping that the grid work will help alleviate some of that for tomorrow. Hello. Hi Rox! Hello monkey! <laughs> Look how muscly you are! Hello monkey! I can see your little face wondering what's going on. This is a good girl. Oh, she's a good pony. Marcus, there's any for me please? So, I've caught the beast. I've been telling you I've caught you, little monkey. Um, she's actually going in really nice. Like, summer coat's coming through. She's got kind of blood bay kind of colour coming through which is my favourite. Um, I don't know if you know but Seren is actually only 14 too. She's actually she's actually tiny. Um, I think a lot of people think she's bigger than she is but no she's only diddy. She is literally diddly. She's a little po power player. A power rocket. Power rocket? For God's sake. A pocket rocket. <laughs> so just before I ride her I give her a scoop of chaff and some acides just to line a tummy it's really important to feed a pony kind of about half an hour before you ride them because if you imagine they've got an empty tummy there's all that acid sloshing about so this just helps give it a bit of a lining she's very happy there and i'm gonna get my tack out so i got some new plate chases ready for summer um i've got these in the hope valley sale because i'm a cheapskate but <clears throat> their sales are amazing i think i've got this for 20 quid the loverson um it's like a, a bit of fabric. and then i also got one of these i don't know what the size is going to come up though because she's she's got a relatively cobby head but i don't know anyway okay, let's try them on so i'm pretty pleased with that she may look like she's dressed in a satin robe but at least she's protected and it was 20 quid Okay, I have my little beekeeper, <laughs> and now we have the look, pink and blue, completely non-matchy, but that looks really good quality, really good quality, doesn't it? And I'm really glad it doesn't have, like, it has this around it, um, kind of like a bit like a halo around her eyes, so she's got plenty of room in there. Let's have a little sneaky peeky. Yep, not touching her at all. 
which is what I've struggled with in the past and it's irritated a little lazies. You can also, I think you can also tuck that under if you don't want the nose bit out, but I like the nose bit out. There we go. You all sorted for summer, says. Bright and colourful, we won't miss you, will we? Ready and tacked up. Sorry I didn't film tacking her up. It was just too windy and she does not look impressed. <laughs> so we're just gonna go and get Jengi from the car and then we're gonna head off down to the bottom yard. Come on then, good boy. This is always really fun, trying to manage to get on with him, <laughs> trotting him out, and then Saren. <laughs> Park up, says. Park up. Good girl. Don't go behind a bum, Jang. Oh. Started Django off walking in hand with Saren as well, so I walked him on a lead, and then I walked Saren in hand, and then I built it up so Django was off the lead, Saren was in hand and he just kind of followed us and then I just kind of went cold turkey like we're really lucky around here so we have um, loads of farm land to ride around and it's all secure so uh, I just let him off one day and he just followed us and that's literally how I trained him to come along with us on ride and kills two birds with one stone really, get the pony ridden, walk the dog but he gets a really good run um, so yeah, <laughs> that's the story of how I trained Django to run alongside us. Please don't eat the poop. Bloody tit of a dog. Wait. He's actually much better off the lead, to be fair. Okay, so we're just down at the bottom yard now. Tie Django up. Seren's just going to stand and chill, probably. Looking miserable. And I'm going to set the jumps up. Probably not going to film me setting up the jumps because I'm probably well out of breath. So we fast forward. So it literally feels like it's taking me hours to set up this grid. So we've got a placing pole there. Got four. Then I've got a bounce here. Then I've got a one stride to an upright. And then just another one stride to finish off. So we've got Sir Winge up there. Yes. You look raring to go, little one. Good girl. So I'm just going to start with a trot and she feels nice and fresh. <laughs> nice and responsive off my leg. Working really nice and round. Her flat work has come on so much. It's been very hard work, especially the canter. But really, really pleased with it. Long. Good girl. Woohoo! Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. That was lovely.
Yeah, that was lovely. Wow. That was lovely. Wow, that is lush. I'm done. Good pony. Yeah. Oh, Sandy! <laughs> it's so nice seeing other people on like us. session. Sarah was fantastic. I don't feel like there's any confidence knocks whatsoever with jumping so I'm really happy to go to the farm ride tomorrow. Fun ride sorry, not farm ride, idiot. Bells are out. Oops, and they run over the dog. <laughs> Girl. Walk. Seven. And more pretty bluebells. How gorgeous is that? Look at the pretty. Woo! <laughs> Says pretty bluebells. Jangle! Yeah, then. Good boy. Uh, excuse me, young lady. She's like, I want to go home now. Uh, this is a bit where Django starts to try and wind her up because he's like, come on, Sarah, let's go. Um, but I want to try and get a nice canter. 
Uh, no, don't do an ostrich. Uh -uh, don't do an ostrich. I am doing this one-handed as well, so you know. Good girl. Okay. Counter. Wait, wait, wait. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Good girl. of trying to film with one mind. <laughs> Steady. She's a bit like, where the hell are you riding him on? Come on. Stop being nervous now. Stop spooking. Canter. Come on. Canter on. Then goes with us. Right, trot now. That was horrible. <laughs> Dogs been around horses too long. <laughs> we got a bit of a poly tum gang. <laughs> having a good time there, both of you. You both having a good time. <gasps> yeah. Sit. Nope. She says, what the hell? So that is me all finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a little like, a share, a follow, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. There's plenty more on there. I hope you enjoyed it because I did. That was certainly a confidence-giving ride and I'm really pleased with that and I'm looking forward to our fun ride tomorrow. <laughs>